YouTube. Pull up, pull up. Is it funny? No, it's not funny. Is it funny? No, it's not funny. YouTube, what is going on today? It's your boy Black, and in today's video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to stream on Twitch from your laptop with Streamlabs OBS. If you're new to streaming and you want to know how to start out in the fastest possible way, this video is for you. I'm gonna walk you through the most basic setup to get your stream up and running in no time. If this video helps you, don't forget to leave a like on it because it helps out boost the video out to more people with intense help the channel. In upcoming videos, I'm gonna walk you through the exact settings for my stream, my overlays, all this kind of jazz. So if you really wanna stay updated, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the videos. I'm not gonna waste my time. Let's get straight into the video. Hold up! I stream on Twitch multiple times a week at twitch.tv slash black underscore attitude. Links in the description. Come on, got some time. Let's go crazy. So to stream on Twitch from a laptop or PC, you're going to need two things. A Twitch account and a broadcasting software. In our case, you're going to use OBS Streamlabs. If you don't have OBS Streamlabs, I've left the links in the description. So go ahead and click on the link and it should bring you to a page like this. Once you're on this page, click on download and install OBS onto your computer. Also, don't forget to create a Twitch account if you don't have one already. So once OBS is installed, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Now there's two ways you can connect your Twitch account to OBS Streamlabs. You can either decide to click on this to sign up straight away or click on skip. Choose the starter pack, start fresh, go through the optimization processes and this should pop up. Then you're going to go ahead and go to your Twitch page. Click on this icon right here where your profile picture is and open up creator dashboard. Once that is open, there's been some changes over here before you see some preferences and other stuff but like this time you just have to go into settings open this settings app click on stream over here this page should pop up and once it's over here you're gonna need this primary stream key go ahead and copy it and click on the settings in stream labs go to stream you should see this over here if you don't have it already here by default make sure to click on streaming services select switch from the options over here for the service then from your keyboard, use Ctrl plus V to paste the stream key that we copied from Twitch earlier. Click on done and you should be linked to Twitch right now. There's another way you can do this. Go to login. It should bring you back to this page. This is the best way to do this. So I really recommend you go with this option instead. So you're going to go ahead and click on Twitch over here. Then we're going to type our username real quick. Type in our password. And we're going to click on login. Click on authorize to log into our account. Now we have a blank display. So the first thing you want to add is a display capture so you can see everything that goes on on our screen once our display capture is added it's now time to add in our audio so we're gonna go to the settings and move over to the audio tab for the desktop audio you want to leave it as default or whatever your computer is connected to in my case my speakers or my desktop audio is a hyper x quadcast and my microphone is hyper x quadcast as well i'm gonna have to select Hyper X Quadcast, then we'll move over to the microphone section, then we'll do the same for that one too. Click done. Like I can see the bar moving right now, that shows that our audio is set. Now, once you add your display capture and you fix your audio, you are more than ready to go live. But before you go live, there's one more thing you need to add that is an alert box. It is a very important widget because it notifies you when someone follows your stream or subs to your stream, so you can appreciate them and thank them and to make them feel welcome. So, you're gonna want to click on this thing right here plus this plus sign right here to add a new source then go to alert box and add source this should pop up right here and everything should be on default i have customized mine so if i click on follow you see this notification pops up on my stream and uh, i hear it as well in my headset so i'll be able to you know tell if someone follows me and appreciate them on stream to make them feel welcome so you can mess around with these settings to suit your preference the title message is where you type what shows up on your screen when someone follows and this is where the image that will be displayed is customized and this is where the sound that will be heard is customized so just mess around with these to see your preference if you are streaming again this is a bonus tip for you you should go ahead and click on the plus icon look over here at a game capture what this does is it captures only the game you play and it doesn't show your entire desktop add new source instead and you should see this on your screen let me just open the game real quick and you see how it works and once the game is opened, you're gonna see this right here open up. If the game you are streaming doesn't pop up, don't worry, just right click on the game capture, go to the properties, it is at auto by default. Click here, then capture specific window. You have to look for the game you want or the game that is opened on your computer, 
and you select it in our case apex legends it's gonna select it like that then it should be ready to go you should know that the sources are position sensitive and that if you want your alert box to be on top of your game then you should drag it right on top of the game capture so now it's on top of it when i click on follow you see that my alert pops up on my stream and now you're more than ready to go live just click on this go live tab right here this window opens up you insert your title type whatever you want and you choose your game you click on confirm and go live and it should be live on twitch so most people starting now do not use webcams for their streams but if you want to start out with your webcam that's super good you click on this plus thingy here look for video capture device among this list add source you should see yourself here with a webcam if you don't have your webcam in here just click on add source instead okay this pops up right here you just have to select the webcam that you want to use i use a lot tech c920 so i'm gonna select it and click done so in my case i use a green screen for my stream and i've already set everything up so i'm gonna add that camera source to it and here we go i have my camera right on my game and uh, i'm gonna just resize it real quick flip it horizontally because i like my my camera mirrored you wanna see how i set up my green screen for my stream and do a lot of cool stuff with it the link to the video will be on top like one of the cards or in the description check that video out and have fun et voila Damn. if this video really helped you out don't forget to leave a like on it if you have any comments or suggestions leave them in the comments below and lastly don't forget to subscribe because you are so close to a fan subscriber goal so close please help me get there and i'll see you another time as usual have a nice rest of your day I'm black I'm out. Cords uploaded. Call for fire. This is Striker three one. Good copy. Strike it back. That's impossible. I got all of it.